In this episode, two generals, a castle, you go, a sheriff, a brace, cows and pigs in the wild, and an obelisk. Maniage, Eastern Sicily, a small town between the volcano Etna and the Nebridi Mountains. Here, the air is healthy and life goes on peacefully. On the banks of its river, fought Arabs against Normans, and eight centuries after, General Horatio Nelson himself tamed their revolt. And in return, they gave him this castle that belonged to his family until a few decades ago. Okay. Well, the memories I have was that it was a really beautiful place. Um, but all the people who worked for my family were wonderful people, by exception. I mean, really wonderful, you know, wonderful people. Obviously, we had great weather. Um, it was very comfortable. And it was a sort of adventure being there. Um, so my best memories are of, of the openness, the landscape. It's a very beautiful valley. In the inside, between parks and architectural splendors, there is a 12th century church with the columns at the entrance showing monstrous creatures, animals with two bodies and one head, roosters with men heads, and naked women. They represent the evil that the visitor leaves behind once he enters the kingdom of Jesus. The inside is a triumph of pointed arches, lava stone, and sandstone. It seems to be back to the dark times of the Middle Ages, when the witches were burned. How many stories could be told by this castle? Perhaps, in 3857, in the vicinity of Betelgeuse, millions of light years from Earth, an alien scientist will invent a microphone that will allow the stones to speak, and then even this castle will make its extraordinary tale. <sighs> Mmm, what a good smell! It's lunchtime. We are hungry. We are gardeners. How many good things? I'll get some bread. Can I put the bread on the fire? Sure, please do so. Here, take it with this. At the Nelson only remained the family cemetery, a few meters after the castle. And here there is also buried the Scottish poet, William Sharp, that strangely he made himself be called Fiona McLeod, and came to Manage to find inspiration and surely to eat sausage. Here we are. This is his thumb with the Celtic cross. There are also servants, administrators, and the last duke, my favorite. Rowland Arthur Herbert Nelson Hood died on July 25th, 1969. In front of his thumb is buried his beloved dog Hugo. Smashing Sicily loves the pets, and indeed, we have one that is one of our best reporters, the infallible Pedro. It's true, Duke, what the Sicilians say, better a dog for a friend than a dog friend. We start to walk again in the heart of Maniage, with the nice scent of the woods that wraps the air. We are in the town, in Via Fontago. A Sicilian at the doorstep of the house. It will be our prey. Good morning! How does it feel to stay here in Maniace? Good! Fresh air! Did you eat? I have the pot on the stove. What are you cooking? A little bit of pastina with an egg and cheese beaten. Do you remember the Duke? Yes, I worked there. I washed their clothes. I used to take my young children and the Duchess gave us candy. 
Now I have to say goodbye before the pasta overcooks. Goodbye, I give you a kiss? Posso darle un bacio? No, la mano lo La mano. No, just a hand. Ah, here is a butcher shop. At home, they keep reminding me not to forget to bring some products from Maniage, famous for the genuineness of meat and cheese. You have to get the black pig. Here they come from all over Sicily for these pigs. They are bred in the wild over woods. If you go there, you meet many that are free. I take a little bit of everything. You take care of it, ma'am. Here, have a taste of the zuzu. Pork chops and gelatin, seasoned with salt, lemon, pepper and bay leaf. A Sicilian specialty. <laughs> the pork jelly, or Sicilian layatina, but also suzu or zuzu, is a typical dish of the Sicilian cuisine, diffused mainly in eastern Sicily. It is prepared by boiling the pork parts of the pig, such as the skin, paws, head, tail, tongue, and ears. The procedures also includes the addition of bay leaf, lemon, vinegar, chili pepper, and black pepper. In short, dear friends, if you come to Sicily, go to a butcher shop and get a nice slice of zuzu. We arrive at the Ethno-Anthropological Museum, where there are three former young men waiting for us. And for the occasion, we light up the ancient stove of Sicilians, the conca. When there was no television, we all stayed around the conca. We talked about the day and this and that. One is called Filippo, another Bastiano, and another, listen to this, his name is Signorino. I mean, Signor Signorino. The three nice maniacesi tell us about their life, and when it's Bastino's turn, he stands up and tells us. I am the sheriff. Everyone knows me with this name. Because when I was a ranger, I used to make people respect me. If you want to make my name, then you must say, the sheriff sent me. Mr. Filippo shows me an ancient watch that he has in his breast pocket. He doesn't want to come out. Oh, no, no. He is embarrassed. Then they show me the shoes of one time. They were made with the skins of the cow, while these, during the war, were made with the tires. We are intrigued by the fact that everyone has a double last name. He is Filippo San Filippo Frittola, called excavation, maybe because his ancestor dug the land. This is Bastiano Parasiliti, Randone, called the sheriff. And this one is Signorino Liuzzo Scorpo, called Ficara, Perhaps because his ancestors like figs? Are you all noble here with these double last names? But what nobles? We all work the land and with the animals. We have the double last name to distinguish one family from another, since we are all relatives here. At some point, the sheriff stands up and proudly shows us his beautiful stick made by him. As soon as we finish the chat, the three friends do not want to leave us anymore and lead us to see the nativity of their town. The nativity is really amazing, one of the nicest I've ever seen. There is all Sicily in this small world of lights and characters. The traveler, the baker, the zambogna player, the shoemaker, the barber. Here's the farmer. That's you, Mr. Filippo. Yes, that's true. We invite you to our territory rich in history and traditions, where you can find genuine food, hospitable people, and good air, immersed in nature and woods. I'll wait for you in Magnage. Splendid Sicily is a network that broadcasts video about Sicily. It is the largest 
cultural project of all time dedicated to the largest island in the Mediterranean. Its cultural department is composed by some of the greatest scholars of Sicily and by people from all over the world that love Sicily. Mayors, writers, naturalists, archaeologists, all together for this great project of the diffusion of Sicily in the world. The ethno-anthropological aspect will be treated in a particular way in order to immerse the spectator inside the real Sicily. We will tell you about 3,000 years of different dominations entering inside the homes of Sicilians, flying on roofs with a drone named Jack Fly, and walking with an Ego Pro that will represent your eyes. Welcome to the largest island in the Mediterranean. We continue our walk. A traffic cop. Let's ask something. Good morning. Do they take fines here? No. We had a chat with the elders. And there was also the sheriff. Perhaps, if you come around here, don't forget to say that you are a friend of the sheriff. Here we are now in the highest part of the town, the district of Petrosino. People pile wood on the street here in the winter almost 800 meters above sea level. It's really cold. You don't see a living soul. There are young people sitting on those stairs, looking at us with curiosity. Hmm, I see a lady among the colored curtains of the entrance. Yes, well, we're curious people going around the town. What did you do in your life? I worked in the farm. I picked up the hazel nuts. It is true that in these parts, if a foreigner knocks, he will have him as a guest to eat? Yes, we are very hospitable. What a nice lady. Let's keep walking. Hello, ma'am. How is he staying here in Maniage? I am a caregiver of Romania. Oh, sorry. There are a few inhabitants here, and who do we catch? A foreigner. Look at these two antique cars. In these towns, you can really find memorabilia from the past at every corner. We arrive in Piazza San Gabriele. There is a little church. Let's see if it's open and if we could go up to the bell tower as usual. Damn it, it's closed. Hmm, I'm piggish. And right around here, they are waiting for us to eat. And I think it's the right time. A trail of adorable smoke leads us to a house. Here we are, Mamma Mia, the Sicilian barbecue. Local sausage, genuine. We entered the house of those who host us. Hey, what a surprise! It is Mr. Filippo and his friend, Signor Signorino. Is the sheriff here too? Mr. Filippo makes me go around the house and shows me the photographs of the past. The pasta is ready. Macaroni and homemade sausage. There is also a nice form of bread, dried tomatoes, olives, salami and cheese. And the inedible red wine of Sicily. Mamma mia, what a good meal! Mr. Filippo concludes with a poem that he composed that means so much for him to recite. I am an angry old man. It's a poem against the government, of course. In Sicily, ironically, the government is blamed for whatever happens. For example, when it rains, you say rain thief government. Well, thanks for the hospitality. 
But now it's time to digest. The trail of the Springs of Maniac is waiting for us. A charming, naturalistic walk. It's the real strong dish of the place. It starts and it ends right from here, near the house of Mr. Filippo, Piazza San Gabriele. Now we immerse ourselves in the woods among wild cows and black pigs. Jack Jack Fly, our drone, flies happy. Here we are in the kingdom of the real god of the world, Mother Nature. The soul marries with beauty and poetry. This is the real essence of man. We arrive almost 600 meters, crossing one spring after another, pastures and enchanting views with the majestic figure of its majesty Etna in the background. We also arrive at the so-called Nelson Obelisk, which was erected by the Duke of Nelson to delimit the Ducea in 1905. A bit like the one in Trafalgar Square, dedicated to the illustrious ancestor Horatio. Once again, the panorama steals the stage. We go back to the woods and descend again to the starting point, Piazza San Gabriele. Maniaccia is giving us an amazing Sicilian day. And if you come around here, say hello to these three wise guys.